Hello, my name is Tim Hong, Director of Partner Development at PM Spirits. Thank you for joining me for this special broadcast where we'll be introducing a new series called Drink Less, Drink Better. I'll be joined here shortly by our great leader, Nicholas Palazzi, who drives us to be excellent even at 11 p.m. on a Friday night where I have to get out of bed and answer a bunch of emails resulting in me being a little extra tired on Saturday morning, only being able to give my kids my 75%. But that's okay, because I gave it my 110% at work all week. Anyways, let's get started. So, Nicholas, what exactly are we doing here? Hi, Tim. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. It's uh, 3 p.m. here on the East Coast, and I, I know you're uh, calling from D.C., uh, so I very much appreciate you being up uh, so late. I wanted to address our uh, audience today uh, because I've made a discovery that I can't keep for myself anymore. It happened a couple of weeks ago, and it just fucking blew my mind. Um, you know that I'm a man of many talents, and, and one of them is to be a very keen observer. I'm unsure um, if you've seen, noticed that uh, whoever on the phone, uh, these person sits, stands, walks, runs, cross streets, drives, bikes, uh, looking at this tiny screen. And I've been wondering um, why, what are they doing on these things? Um, turns out they're, they're all connected. Um, it's like a uh, like a giant social community of sorts. Um, I did research. I, I, I binged it, as the, the kids say, and um, I, I figured it out. Um, I even gave it a name, and I, I called it social media. And I think that if we're the, the first one on this, uh, we can make it big. Uh, we can be unstoppable. So what you're telling me is that there is this thing in the phones called social media. And if we can get on social media, PM Spirits could achieve its ultimate goal of world domination. I think we can. I think we should. I think we, we, we have a shot at it. I think that we should um, dominate. Uh, we should try to rule the world of spirits um if we can't quite rule the whole world uh hopefully we, we will rule um a few countries but i think it's doable yeah well that was very insightful let's keep moving so what is pm spirits i mean i know pm stands for pricey and malevolent but why did you start this company let me uh, give you a bit of context first, um, and then I'll, I'll explain. Uh, it should only take 10 minutes or so, so you should sit back, um, relax. Um, I worked as an engineer in France uh, and in the US. I should mention that I am French. Um, few people notice it because I worked on my accent a lot, um, but I was born in a foreign country. And after having worked as an engineer in um, in France and America for a few years, um, I had the displeasure of experiencing the uh, that deep sense of like hating what I was doing and, and the people I was doing it with. Um, work was essentially a thing that had to be done, and I was happy on either side of it. Uh, it wasn't healthy, and I decided to stop and think long and hard about you know what was a real passion for me like the stuff that I could that I could work uh, long hours towards I moved to uh, New York in 04 and I've been blown away by the depth of wine selection at the the random liquor store uh, whereby I uh, I lived on um, 33rd and 3rd but at the same time it was obvious that the spirit game was super branded um, I always liked wine, always liked booze, um, always been into the stuff that the small guys make, um, the real people who don't cut corners, and those who make products with uh, personality. My family had ties with uh, small cognac makers in the cognac region of France. So uh, I 
just thought that I could uh, bring some cool stuff to the US market and then try to sell them, you know? Um, kind of felt right at the time, still does. Um, back then the, the food network was real hot. Um, farm to table was uh, on a lot of lips. Um, so I thought artisanal booze was uh, an extension of that idea. Uh, Plus, I like to drink, so that that was the uh, that was the business plan. Yeah, I mean that's awesome. I mean, I agree one hundred percent. You know, I tell my seven year old daughter to stop drinking that mass produced Capri Sun, and drink more slow pressed juices from Whole Foods. You know, or it's like when my wife cooks me dinner from ingredients she bought at Trader Joe's. I mean, come on, what am I, some kind of peasant? You know what I'm saying? I I, I do not know. Anyways, I have a question that I'm sure all of us are dying to ask. You know, when you go on these trips to find these incredible spirits in between the time spent at your villa in Saint-Tropez and your 68-foot Riva yacht in Monte Carlo, I mean, what exactly is it that you're looking for? Honestly, there, there's no real method. Um, if I look back, uh, I can identify some tenets, but... It's really pretty straightforward. We, we're essentially dealing with beverages, like stuff that one smells and, and ingests, stuff that like talks to the brain right away. Um, so first off, the, the, the stuff that I'm smelling and tasting needs to click, like it needs to feel right on the nose, on the palate. Um, the stuff needs to have personality. Much like when I'm uh, talking to someone, and you know like that person is just uh super smart um without even trying and the brain goes like oh wow um same thing uh, good spirits whatever it is it talks to you it talks to your senses and so there's a lot of that um there's a lot of tasting um there is a uh, lot of uh, um experiences different sort of distillates so the brain can pick up how well it's made, if it has a sense of place, whether it has additives uh, or if it's pure, uh, if the stuff is as old as one say it is. Um, so it's a mix of experience and a common sense um, and combined like they're a pretty powerful bullshit detector. Um, and then I would say that there's a third aspect um, that I'm looking for. Uh, it's, it's the human um, aspect of things the people who are making the stuff. I do think that life is too short to be uh, dealing with people who are not good humans. So when I travel around, uh, oftentimes meet families, people who are the uh, second, third, fifth generation distilling, um, people who believe in their art, people who want to express themselves uh, through their spirits people who are uh, again not cutting corners they're not trying to please anyone they are trying to express a sense of place terroir as the french would say i'm looking for people who are genuine who work well and who are trying to make the best of of the uh, the the raw material that uh, Earth is uh, giving them. Uh, so essentially, I'm, I'm looking for stuff where my brain goes like, wow, uh, that's made without cutting corners by people who I want to spend time with. Well, let's keep this news fest rolling. I mean, the sooner we get done, the sooner I get to go home. So you've been talking a lot about this concept of drink less, drink better drink less, drink better? I mean, shouldn't it be drink more, drink better? Because drink more equals buy more, which means more money in the bank. I've been doing a little bit of a remodel at my beach house right now, and I thought this might be the appropriate time to ask for a small raise. Talking to you makes me uh, feel like I'm uh, practicing talking to my eight-year-old. Um, that's, that's a really cool feeling. I think that in every single quality trips quantity, uh, if you have an amazing experience, it's going to be awesome. Uh, if you repeat that experience every day, however amazing, the shit is bound to lose its appeal. Uh, it's just going to become more mundane. Um, 
there's a, just a finite amount of the stuff that's artisanal and really good. Um, I do think also that that booze ain't good for you. Like to be frank, I know uh, alcohol is not a friend. Uh, you know, moderation is key. Sounds boring, but the shit is true. Um, I'm I'm talking from a place where I'm 44. I'm twice your age, uh, Tim, and 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 you will see when you'll get there. You 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 you'll understand. Um, so yeah, I, I want to eat and drink real well. Uh, I'm not interested in stuffing my face with garbage. Uh, I'd rather have less, but of the highest quality. And that's what the PM business is is built around for. Um, we never gonna be selling millions of cases of anything because the real stuff that tastes real good and available in huge quantities. Well. It looks like we are all out of time, which means I get to go home and eat that cold dinner that's been sitting out because I missed it due to this interview. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to be alerted of new content right here on PMTV. Thanks for watching.